So there we go. The, uh, this weekend I will be camping in, as you can see over there, I'll try to dim the light a little bit. It's the, uh, the Van Gogh Nova 200 experience. And I uh, picked this one up from Go Outdoors. I think it was, I think it was 80, it might be 89. Uh, it's a good size. Hadn't set it up before, so knew out the bag, as you would have just seen. And uh, yeah, it looks new because you can see all the creases on it. Um, but it's a nice size, fairly straightforward to put up. Um, thankfully, the ground's soft enough to put the, hands, the pegs in by hand because I haven't got the mallet with me at the moment. Um, but it's a, it's a good size, it's nice, and very, very straightforward to uh, put together. And this weekend I will be sleeping on the Traverse OE by OEX. Um, again, this was from Go Outdoors. You could probably get it from lots of places. Giving this a trial. This is one of their uh, self-inflating beds. So I'm going to see how this actually works. Heard lots of things. Not so good. Some good things as well about the inflatable beds. But we'll see. Hopefully it does a trick. Okay, so there we are, we're set up. Now I've inflated the uh, inflated the bed, and uh, as you can see, there was a bit more, there we go. So this is inside, uh, inside the uh, Van Gogh Nova 200. Spacey in here, uh, it's sleeping bag there. So this is the OEX, Bars. I did have to blow it up uh, a bit uh, just to get that firmness and underneath I stuck a insulated foam mat which is quite good actually it was about, about eight nine pounds for that and this was I believe 29 pounds I can give you a review of what it's like to sleep on tonight let me just have a little look around let me box a bits got my little cooker in there as well got my little Van Gogh stove I'll show you that in a bit so set up, set up the tent. Um, bed's all done. I'm here with uh, six other guys. Uh, absolutely perfect. Just all relaxing, getting uh, everything simple, and um, just been having to kick about with the football. And uh, I'm knackered, but it's all good. So uh, having a little trek through the forest gonna do some tree tapping if you haven't heard of tree tapping essentially you get a small glass bottle you find some of the pine trees and at this time of year so it's end of April they have these little bumps on them and if you tap them pierce them you get sap coming out you put a little glass bottle underneath fill it up with the sap put some tree moss in there and then put a little cork in we'll do a meditation afterwards and at the end of the meditation big sniff on it you create this mental attachment to that area, it take you back to this place, somewhere nature, natural in the forest. And then from there, keep it like in your car, or by your bedside, something along those lines. And if you're not feeling so great, quick sniff on it, it takes you back to great stuff.
taking myself off uh, from the main group just to, uh, just to enjoy this. Some, I say, get some fresh air. I've been out here all day. Um, just get some uh, headspace, really. Clear my thoughts, drop the shoulders, deep breaths, all of that goodness, and uh, just enjoy the sun whilst it's uh, still there. Beautiful day, and it's just starting to get a bit nippy now. So I've got the uh, got the old hoodie on. Um, but like I said, it's uh, just a group of us uh, like-minded guys and decided to, you know, to take ourselves away for a day or two, get a fire going, chat around the fire, uh, have that kind of communion with each other. I don't use that word lightly. Uh, and to really sort of tap into tap into those primal roots of sitting around the fire you know, sharing food drinking um, tea by the way it's a it's a dry weekend uh, look at this I'm at a crossroads how cool is that um, and just uh, you know, not, not just enjoying each other's company, but enjoying this, soaking in uh, with the atmosphere. You can hear them in the background, perhaps, um, you know, just letting the weight of the world come off our shoulders. And far too often we find ourselves caught up in the busyness of life and believing that life should be busy and occupied with everything when, in fact, this is life. And we can say, yeah, but it's not reality. It's not the pressures we feel each day. It's not the bill paying. It's not the working. It's not the kids. It's not the wife, the husband, the bills, etc. No, but that's kind of what we've made the world, haven't we? Because we didn't make this world. And uh, we didn't make ourselves in that respect. just take it in look at this the rope's been uh, tied in that's amazing and it's growing round so I'm going to head back because I think we've nearly got dinner ready we're having I think like a kind of chicken and vegetable I don't know not like a casserole kind of thing uh, it's being heated up and cooked on the uh, on the fire at the moment. We've got a big stove, and you know, like the old uh, black sort of urns and such that's that's heating up at the moment. So looking forward to that. And this evening, again sitting around the fire, they've asked me to. Uh, it's an old caravan there. Check that out. Wow. Um, uh, <laughs> they've asked me to actually do a, uh, a spooky story tonight, which is crazy because you know we're all grown men and. Uh, um, because if, if you perhaps new to this channel, I do something called British haunting or have done, and it's a bit of a spooky site and stuff, but it's all good. Um, so uh, yeah, so I might do that. We're going to get the guitar out, and uh, we're not going to sing uh, Kumbaya, but we're going to have uh, we're just going to have a good time. I'm going to go and get some dinner. Someone, you get that. The weight, well, different. I've looked over to you. Dinner cleaned up after ourselves, and we've uh, 
come out through the woods and there's a, a beautiful clearing and uh, we're, you can see I've got the sun in my eyes but we're actually just watching the sunset let me show you what it looks like test for him.
bastard. You were just sleep. Yeah. And then in the cold months just staying like three or four months in a four-star hotel every yeah. day. <laughs>